Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jim Fahad. In this tutorial, I'm not gonna show you how to create a website step by step. It's not a full website creation tutorial that I usually do in this channel. This is a short quick tutorial on how to install Elementor page builder in different ways. Because so many of you asked me in the comment section, there are so many different ways installing Elementor page builder. So in this short tutorial, I will show you the three different ways of installing Elementor page builder and I will describe the different purpose for the three different ways. Okay, so first let me show you the newest way of installing Elementor page builder. So for that you can go to Elementor's website. I will put that link in the description. So just click on the description link and that will take you to this Elementor page. So from this page you can click here get started or here get started. Let's just click here on get started. Then it will ask you to sign up here. So just put your email address here and put a password here and then click here on create account. I already have an account so I'm clicking here on login. So here I put my username. You can put here your username or your email address then in this field put your password then click on login. So actually this way is best for you if you have your website live. So basically if you have your website up and running then it's the best way to install Elementor page builder. So from here you can see it asks you do you have a WordPress website as you already have so then it says yes I should do let's just click here on continue and then put your domain name here and it's important put HTTP or HTTPS first then colon forward slash forward slash then here I'm putting my domain name that's millionaireswebsite.com now click on check for WordPress then it says great you are ready to install Elementor and now let's click on click to install now from the right bottom click here install now see we are now inside millionaireswebsite.com and we can see the plugin inside our own WordPress so let's just click on activate plugin cool so our Elementor page builder has been activated successfully to check it just go to the plugins to install plugins here you can see our Elementor page builder has been activated successfully let's now have a look on the way number two that's direct install so for that on the same way let's go to Elementor's main website I will put that link in the description just click there that will take you to this Elementor's page so the way right now I'm showing is the best for local development Let's say if you don't have your website live, let's say if you are a web developer, you're just developing your website on your computer, then you can follow this way. So just click here on get started again. Then if you don't have an Elementor account, just put your email and password, then click here create account. But I already have an account so I'm clicking here on login and then put your username or email, then your password and click on login. Again it's asking do you have a WordPress website. This time again click here yes I should do. So just click on continue and this time as I'm assuming you don't have your website live. So you cannot put your live domain URL name here. For that you can see a link here underneath this box. It says alternatively if you prefer to install Elementor manually you can download it here. Now just click on this here this link. Then you can see it is started downloading manually. So you can see the Elementor page builder plugin has downloaded successfully. So you will find that on your download folder or wherever you save all your download assets. So now go back to your WordPress dashboard. Then from the left bar here you can see plugins. From there let's just click on add new. And then here at the top you can see upload plugins. Click here. Then as we have downloaded the zip format. So let's now click here on choose file. So here you can see the zip file. Let's just select this one and click on open. Now click on install now. 
and now click on activate plugin all right our elementor page builder has installed successfully in this way so to check it again just go to plugins to install plugins you can see here our elementor page builder plugin has activated successfully let's now have a look on the way number three it's actually the easiest but there is a little problem with this way i will describe that later but for now let me just show you the way so just go to your wordpress dashboard now from left bar go to plugins to add new and from here this search bar search plugins let's search for elementor so from the wordpress plugins directory you can see here elementor page builder just click here install now and then click on activate so in the third way our elementor page builder has been activated successfully again to check it from plugins click on install plugins here we can see the elementor page builder has been activated but a few times ago i have said you there is a little bit problem with this third way what is that that is when you install elementor through their main website on that time you may remember you have clicked here on get started and on that time you needed to put your email password and you had to create your account on elementor actually on that way you were subscribing to their email list so the advantage of becoming their subscriber i mean if you install elementor page builder through the number one way or number two way then you will automatically become their subscriber their email subscriber so on that way they will get your email and they will update you with their new features what more awesome things they are bringing in addition they will send all of that information on your email before anyone so you can get to know what's trending, what's going on, what's new things are coming. So you can always keep up to date. That's why personally I recommend the number one way or number two way instead of number three way. Because in number three way, you are just installing Elementor Page Builder from WordPress plugin directory. So you cannot become their subscriber. You cannot get the up to date news about Elementor or what cool features they're bringing every day that's why i recommend the number one or number two way but of course it depends on you which way you want to select i'm just showing you what the available ways are all right guys thank you so much for watching this short tutorial and please let me know in the comment section in which topic do you want me to create tutorials because I personally read each comment and you have seen I almost reply all of the comments all the emails because I really do care about you guys so please let me know about your thought in the comment section though right now i cannot upload videos regularly because i got so busy with client works nowadays but i promise i will start releasing more cool videos more frequently and i already have so many tutorials on elementor like you will find in this channel how to create a complete business website how to create a complete portfolio website multi-page wordpress websites one page portfolio websites blog websites so just go ahead and watch the tutorials you need and please don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe because i have many more tutorials coming in and please 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 comment down below which tutorials do you want me to make in this channel and like i said i read each comment and i will reply back to each of you all right guys so this is it for now thank you so much for watching see you soon